Now, coverage you can count on. Channel 2 Action News at 6. Skydivers pay tribute to one of their friends who fell to his death over the weekend, but disaster almost strikes a second time when another parachute fails to open. This chilling case of deja vu is our top story on Channel 2 Action News at 6. Good evening. I'm John Alston. And I'm Sandra Bookman. The skydiver and his student were able to open up their backup chutes and both glided safely to the ground. That was not, however, the case yesterday when Norm Cutler fell to his death in Newton County. Channel 2's Ross Cavett is covering our top story and he's live in the Satellite News Center with more. Ross? Wow, wait till you see the story, Sandra. For some reason, Norm Cotler couldn't open his reserve chute yesterday. The 54-year-old maintenance supervisor died doing something he loved, skydiving. We visited his skydiving club in North Georgia today, where his friends said Cotler's death has hit them hard. They also told us skydiving has safeguards that should prevent such a tragedy. And as you'll see, they had an unexpected chance to demonstrate them. This is your ripcord. It'll be snapped right there. If you pull it, I want you to look at it first. As members of Skydive North Georgia prepared to jump, their minds were on Norm Kotler. Kotler's picture is on the wall of their clubhouse, accepting his awards for 24 hours of free fall and 2,000 jumps. Norm died in Covington Saturday when his main chute failed and he couldn't open his reserve. For friend Perry Thibodeau, the jumping goes on. Going to a beautiful arch and uh, then we'll be skydiving. Mm -hmm. All right? I'm gonna miss him. Uh, I feel safe. I trust myself. A lot of people say, uh, you know, one of your best friends just died. How can you keep jumping? And uh, the, what I say to them is, haven't you had a friend that's died in a car accident? Why do you keep driving? Skydivers know there is danger. Instructor Billy Bob Brock says Norm's death won't scare anyone, but it will make them think. Uh, what it does do is makes it safer, or makes us safer. And we tend to uh, realize that it can happen, so we're a little more uh, aware of what we're doing when we're gearing up and exactly where we're opening. We don't get as careless in the air. We're 3,500 feet. And as if to make that point, moments later, Perry Thibodeau and his in-tandem student had a problem. Their main chute started collapsing. Another skydiver videotaped the drama in the air. They got a good canopy. We tried for about 1,000 feet to fix it, and uh, I made the determination at that point we could not land the parachute, so we got rid of it. That's what we got two for. We uh, live to jump, and we jump to live. Skydivers are less afraid of dying than we are of not living. Thank you. First skydive, first reserve ride to case of beer. I don't think Norm would want a tear shed. I think Norm would want to basically just uh, knowing that you're thinking about him and having a good time and remembering what he was like and the fun we had together. Well, we may never know why Norm Kotler couldn't open his reserve shoot yesterday. His friends say they will keep skydiving, doing what they love. They held a memorial jump just for Norm first thing this morning. Let's put this in perspective. The folks at Skydive North Georgia say they took a look at members injured in the past few years. 80% of the injuries occurred while members were driving to or from the airfield, not while skydiving. That puts it in perspective. In the Satellite News Center, Ross Cavett, Channel 2 Action News. Some gutsy guys, Ross. Thanks for that right. update. Full
about that, huh? Right. Great job, great job. Hey, congratulations. All right. Well, now that it's over, was it as bad as you thought? No. Hey, that was good, Yeah. Okay. <laughs>